I met Dr. Kumar in 1985. Uh, he moved from the UK to Canada in 85 and joined our department then. And I moved from Toronto where I trained to here in 1981, so we've known each other ever since. He's a very reasonable, down-to-earth person who, who's a real team builder who can get people to work for him. I was more like a bull in a china shop type of administrator, but he's a team builder and uh, he's very calm and he's always been able to get uh, consensus on issues. And in our business, uh, that's important because there's, it's a lot of people. I think in our own department, we have 60 people work there. So that um, he's been really good at that. And, um, you know, as, as the years go by, he's become less of a clinician and got more into administration, but that's very rewarding and his accomplishments, what he's been able to achieve. I think that we here were quite concerned because he has to drive to Fredericton three days a week. And uh, you know what that road can be like in the wintertime. So he bought a huge, big half-ton truck so that the, the ditches and the moose don't get him on his trips back and forth because uh, there's a lot of travel involved with that job. Well, the, the East Indian dinner was started by Dr. Kumar and his wife uh, and the uh, New Brunswick Division of the Canadian Cancer Society as a fundraiser in St. John 12 years ago. And um, it, it's really grown and grown in popularity. It sells out every year. And it's a lot due to uh, Mrs. Kumar, Vitu, who's an extremely good cook. And they've made, I think, millions of dollars or close to it in funding for the Cancer Society. So that's the chief beneficiary of it. And it just seems to grow every year. He and V2 live in Rosse. They have three sons. They're very close. And um, they also have an extended family in Bangalore, India, that they try to get home to visit as often as they can. He's most deserving of this award, I would say, because of the contribution that he's made over the years, his steadiness and uh, his good work. Um, you know, if you look at some of the other provinces and the difficulties they've had with administration, I think of McGill in Montreal where they've had a huge scandal and uh, money gone missing and things. If you don't have good administration at the top, I mean, you can be in real problems and you would never have to worry about anything like that with Dr. Kumar, who's been excellent.